Hi guys, welcome back to Modern Builds HD. Welcome back for another suburban house video. Now, sorry for the slight delay. So around the back here, all I did was I added some more bone mill, as you can tell, and added stripe lines of lime carpet. But however, they weren't like everywhere, as you can see. I sort of like went around ferns. I went around some grass to give it this sort of really nice effect, which I've never seen done on a build before. Um, I've tweaked the barbecue area a little bit and all this kind of stuff has been going on I'm not sure if this was added in the last video but yep that was there <laughs> in the front now uh, we now have sand quartzy quartz pillars uh, some quartz stairs and I put signs on each side of here because it adds this really nice sort of entrance effect and basically I started dividing rooms so this is your front room this is another front room you know we can have all kinds of different stuff in these rooms over here we've got an open plan kitchen area made out of sand walls with some quartz here here and here and here I thought it looked really awesome then here we have a muck room which uh, in English I guess you could call it something like a uh, porchway yeah I guess in English that's what it is called but I was just thinking of the American way because it sounds so much cooler I also put this nice feature in here which is a window that you can view onto the muck room or porchway and it opens up and adds so much light to the build now we finally have a staircase as you can see we may have like a um, toilet here I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with this unused space. And this goes up onto this floor. And we have this window design, which is really awesome looking. I mean, we've boarded off these with some brick because that area of the build didn't look too pretty. But we improved that. So, you know, we're all good. And I just spotted something here that we could improve on. So, as you can see, whoa, what the hell is it doing? Really? loves giving me items random items and 64 of them I don't know why it does it but it loves doing it and it really pisses me off so yeah thank you Minecraft yeah so as you can see it looks like this behind and of course what you must be most wondering about is the new window I'm not entirely sure if I like it or not but we can tweak in this video but as I said in one of my first videos, I was thinking about having a window viewing out onto the back. Now, the stairway does come up onto this. You know, maybe since this is like an old people's suburban home, we can have like a nice chair and table viewing out onto the garden, as you do. And it has some buttons and small details on it, which I quite like. And yeah, I think that looks pretty awesome too. In fact, can we do this? No, that would be too cool thinking about having some brick slabs over the top and it kind of look, does look quite cool but I'm not entirely sure let's just add some glass on the windows since I kind of forgot to do that oh yeah don't worry about these details guys they're gonna be absolutely fine we just need to add some more stuff and change the time there we go So that is going to be like that. Then we are going to have these. I was thinking maybe of having the stone slabs put back a little bit. But I kind of like the design. So I think it's going to stay. And just tweak this part here at the side of the bill. Because it looks a bit dodgy. Just like that. Simples. It looks kind of nice, but it also looks like it has been just put on here. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that, you know, it kind of works into the build. Because otherwise it's not going to look that fantastic. So let's just see what we can do here with some stone and see if we can make it sort of blend into the build. Rather than look like it's just been slapped on there like a back window. Now, of course, some of the designs won't look great at first impressions. But that's always why we're going to tweak stuff. Oh, 
What do I think of that? I kind of like it, but it looks a bit put on, a bit like the roof at the moment. So we're going to have to tweak this a bit further. What about this? Alright, still looks a bit put on. Maybe if we include this. Okay. Yeah, this is the stairway, guys. So if you're wondering what that huge gaping hole is, that is where the stairs are. I kind of like that. Still needs further detailing, but I just had a great idea. Great success. What we're going to do is we're going to have to reshape some of the roofing, but you know, it doesn't matter. As long as we can improve the look of the build, changing things is never a bad thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to have to extend the roof a little bit further. It's not going to matter. We're just going to have an extra overhang of a roof here. And we will have to shape stuff around, but it will make the roof more look like it accepts the back window into this build. Because at the moment it kind of looks like I've randomly just done stuck a few materials on and just placed it there and think I'm going to be all happy about how it looks but I'm not so we're going to improve this do not worry guys everything should look good so as you can see straight away I'm loving them improvements I think they look so much better and I hope you guys like it too right I know what that is happening Right, so you're going to have to get rid of some of the stairs here and all you're going to do is just replace that with some brick. Alright guys, so yeah that looks pretty smart, Let's see what else we can do here. So yeah, we do have this huge sort of black hole here, that is perfectly natural, unfortunately Minecraft has a few issues like this occasionally, all, you, all to fix this is, all you're going to need to do is just put some brick slabs here of course we were gonna do that anyway and I mean damn look at that see so much improvement had no idea that we were even gonna have to do this when I was building the roof design but you know it worked out so damn well so what you're gonna need now is some quartz quartzy quartz slabs and we're gonna extend this out by one you know attention to detail Sorry if you can hear my keyboard in the background, it's kind of going a bit spazzy on me at the moment. You know what, that is no problem. You may think it looks like a problem with this here, but to avoid these problems, we can always sort it out with some sort of modern cool shape. Like this. So guys, that is the roofing of that done. The general starts is general structures done lost my voice for a bit there uh, the garden is almost finished uh, one request that I did have was from one of my friends his minecraft name is Iabin and he really wanted a sort of grapevine sort of thingy going on this isn't an Italian villa but I have added some bushes as you can see around I was going to do it anyway simply because it adds a bit of depth and of course in gardens right you have bushes <laughs> So we definitely, we were going to have them anyways. So you know what, it looks nice. The garden's very simple. I'm not entirely sure on this chair though. It kind of looks a bit dark. So what do we have? Spruce. That is a very nice material. Let's get some spruce stairs out and just sort this derpy chair out. Whoops. Okay. This is a pretty mahoosive chair we have here. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to get rid of this chair. I'm not entirely sure on it. And I reckon we'll just have a couple of just nicely put chairs there. And you know what? Get a fence out like this. Uh, where should we put this? Right. I'm just thinking. We need to change the time again. Time is not on our side today. Go up about this high. Get a hooper. Where are you? There you are. 
and you know we can have a nice sort of uh, I always forget what these things are called which really annoys me but um uh, what are they called basically in most gardens I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about or you will do when you see what this thing looks like is uh in most gardens you have uh this sort of table and chairs right with like an umbrella there just in case you know you're sitting outside having food or whatever and it starts raining but basically we're having one of them things i cannot think at the moment what this thing is supposed to be called but you're just going to need some brown and some normal normal carpet i sometimes actually put white carpet there but i didn't this time so everything's all good uh then you're going to want to put it like this you know we'll come up with some simple design uh then get back out our white carpet you know just place it here and then you've got a nice sort of checkered garden roof design you know what i'm really liking that that is pretty cute yeah so you know if it starts raining they can just move their chairs and whatever over here and the garden looks fairly beautiful and i'm pretty pleased with that so you know what we have a lot of time more for this video was it like 10 minutes long at the moment something like that uh, let's do some more inside work so over here i reckon we can have an inside toilet i've made my mind and i'm happy with the decision only problem is my kitchen's kind of interfering with them beautiful details you know what we can have our inside toilet over here it's going to be a pretty derpy shaped toilet i don't know how we're going to plan this thing out but we're going to have a toilet here and it should look all right Right, so inside, I'm going to need some glowstone for the ceiling lights, of course. Toilets are always, like, well lighted because you don't really want to, like, turd on the floor. <laughs> and then we just have some, like, sorry about the shaders, guys. It is incredibly bright, and I can barely see because it is blinding my eyes here. But it gives a nice effect. Then above, you know, we can use this here, like that. How tall is that? That is still quite high. Do we have some quartzy quartz? Is that sand? That is glowstone. All right. Yeah, I have to have my laptop actually leaned up against a fan. It has got to the stage where my laptop likes to... I could literally use this as a heater. In winters, I don't even need a heater. I just need a laptop that's running shaders mod and you, my whole house can pretty much stay warm from that because it is just insane so you got your door you got your nice lighting you know this place is never going to be dark so now we're going to get a hooper hopper people don't t actually no we're not we're going to use a stone slab and we're going to take the thunder approach to this i've never done this before but i love this design this is a toilet, it's a simplistic toilet, not thought by me, thought by someone who I do a lot of build reviews for on my other channel called Thunder, great builder, and thought of this design for toilet which is just mind blowing. Then we are going to have to go use some item frames, unfortunately I don't like using them because you know they lag out stuff and I'm going to try and have this world as like a non item frame world sort of thingy. Well, not non item frame, but it's going to be less of them. So, you know what? We have our simplistic toilet. What are you going to place? Our toilet roll. You can use quartzy pillars if you want, but you know, we're just going to go with that. Then, we're going to want two hooper hoppers, uh, some red carpet, and some blue carpet. So, just replace it with any items we're not going to be using some light blue carpet out looks slightly better uh, what else we're we gonna need we are going to need a uh, oh, actually I think that's about it no nope. a tripwire hook that is it and then what we're gonna have is we're gonna have this here can we do that can we do that yes that is just about doable place two of these here two item frames then use the red carpet whoops the item frame didn't place there red carpet there and light blue carpet here and BAM you have blue you have hot and you have cold 
taps I know amazing design not thought by me but I love that design pretty much in everything that's cool has been already done <laughs> can't really think of new ideas anymore that stuff is just gone and you know what we're gonna have like a little painting no not coke we find anything maybe something no something here too high that is cool but it's touching the door yeah yeah we're just gonna go with that and be happy about this design because it's not gonna be very nice to us yeah so we got our toilet right the toilets there now the muck room I mean you don't exactly need a huge room just for like drying your feet and so on that is all good kitchen it's gonna be laid out soon we are gonna have to leave our bat system out here because unfortunately I've got rid of the bat system and now look they've invaded so upstairs we are gonna now divide the rooms so let's get out some sand so we're gonna be fairly generous with room size so I reckon go from here well let's say we have a big gap of three with the doorway and I love the ceilings on how they like slope in to create shape I mean I think that looks amazing whoa sand I just remembered sand is not a very nice material to use well it looks flipping awesome off flows but it drops that's the only problem yeah so this is going to be the entrance not this humongous we're going to get some quartz to separate yeah what about that modern design that is awesome right so we got like the part where our bed's going to be here uh, some other stuff you know uh, we have our staircase we can have our shower in here I mean there are so many possibilities what do, what do we think on that yeah I guess that color can kind of work you know white stained clay next to sand kind of works we have that here in fact get quartzy stairs out because they look freaking awesome put that there bam I'm liking that design have that here and that here to let in some light natural light let's go change the time because it's kind of going blackout mode on me here uh, yeah so we have our shower room here uh, we have our toilet so this is like an ensuite I guess you could call it we can have a simple nice sitting area here and let's just say you know a nice little lounge here so you know we got a really nice little upstairs it's only going to be one bedroom but we're going to be generous with size um, we've got downstairs we've got two front rooms we have our kitchen we have our hallway running through the nice center of the house our muck room downstairs toilet kitchen and you know maybe something here storage that is it bam a nice garden which is all finished now lovely garage nice landscaping I love this driveway I think it looks amazing never done anything like that before but I will do in the future and I guess this is the end of this part of the tutorial thank you so much for watching I know it hasn't been an incredibly long video and we haven't got a huge amount of progress done but you know what landscaping's done structure the builds done and now as some of you want I know especially I have in once the interior part of the episodes will now start so thank you for watching stay tuned for more videos don't go anywhere the uh, series is gonna go on hopefully daily uploads from now onwards no breaks because the interior part is something that I really enjoy doing and yeah please leave a like down below it really does help subscribe to my youtube channel to help my small channel grow i mean i've been gaining subs so much recently i mean it's like seven a day every day and i'm loving that so thank you so much for that uh support you know we'll be at 200 subs soon so if you can help me get to 200 subscribers that would be freaking awesome uh, thank you for watching just like i said and i'll see you guys in my next episode goodbye